right, it's Roger with iGadget Geek, and I have a case review for the iPhone 4 or iPhone 4S. This is brought to you by AL Case, and they were nice enough to send this out to me for review. So let's go ahead and take a look at the case itself. It comes in this nice little aluminum tin, and it does include some nice instructions here on how to actually assemble this case. This is a pretty unique case. It's kind of a hybrid case. It has an aluminum front piece that has an inner plastic ring that you set the front of your phone on and then it has this back plastic piece that is also kind of a hybrid plastic um, and then of course it screws together. But let's go ahead and take a look at what all you get in the aluminum box itself. It has this very nice aluminum box that the case comes in with a lot of attention to detail taken on presentation and I'm going to give them a lot of uh, points on this. They've taken a lot of time in considering how this case is packaged and presented to you, the customer. Now you have the case here, and this is the black and silver. This is available in several different colors. Um, you can have this back piece in either black or white, and this front comes in several colors, black, gray, orange, yellow, lots of different colors. I will have a link in the description to their website where you can order these cases. And then, of course, here is the AL Case machined aluminum cases. It's www.alcasestore.com. So let's go ahead with that, too. You get two extra screws because it takes four screws to screw this together. They include two extras and this very nice little screwdriver here to actually put everything together. So let's go ahead and set this case out of the way. And here is our actual aluminum hybrid style case. It actually consists of three pieces. So let's go ahead and take these four screws out and we'll take a look at what makes up the case. All right, I have the case completely apart. As you can see, there's the very front aluminum here that's in silver and it has a very nice soft finish to it. Here is that inner plastic piece that sits between the aluminum and your phone. So you place that together and that protects your phone from actually, so none of the aluminum actually touches anything on your phone. It actually acts as an insulation. And then here is that very back piece of hybrid. It's a very interesting plastic material. It kind of feels like maybe it's Teflon or some you know durable plastic material like that. It has a nice flat finish on the very back. All right, I have the case on my iPhone 4S. As you can see right here, I have a carbon fiber skin on the back of my iPhone 4S and an anti-glare front screen shield. Let's go ahead and take a look around at this case. Now, once you've installed it, you have a very nice, generous opening at the bottom for your speaker, microphone, and 30-pin dock connector. And if you catch this on the video, you can actually see how this is elongated. I don't think there is a connector out there that would not fit within this opening. Now on the very side, there are these grooves machined into this case. Let me see if I can get this on camera. It has a very nice kind of cupped angle, and that's very nice for when you're holding this in your hand. It gives you a really nice place to grip the phone. It doesn't feel like it's going to slide out. And the way the two pieces lock together here, they actually lock together as you're assembling it, and then you screw it together, and you don't have to worry about any flexing or this case actually coming apart. Now, that is the right-hand side or the SIM tray side. There is no cutout there for the trim for the SIM tray, so you will have to remove the case to have access to the SIM card, but that is no problem. Now, on the very top, you have a nice, generous cutout for your sleep-wake button. There is your secondary mic and a very, again, generous cutout for your headphone jack. I don't believe you'll have any issues with any headphones fitting in and out of this case. And there too you have that kind of nice grooved cup design milled into the case itself. On the left hand side you have a nice opening there for your silent switch, your volume up and down. And there too is another one of those little grooves cut. So everywhere you would place your hand to actually hold this case there is a nice groove cut. And there, too, is that locking pattern again to actually allow that case to lock together. Now, on the very back of the case, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. The lip itself sits right over the glass, so you actually do get a very generous lay-on-the-table design on the very back of this case. On the front, it doesn't actually lip over the glass at all, so you will not have any issues with screen shields bubbling. 
but there is a bit of a lip to give you some lay on the table. As you can see there, it bumps up a little bit more at the bottom and at the top. So if you lay this face down, you are going to get a little bit of protection for your front screen shield and there too on the back. And the back has got a very nice flat smooth finish all along the back. So when you place it back down, it's not going to slide around or anything. Now I'm going to splice in a video that shows my Wi-Fi signal, my GSM signal, and my GPS lock before I installed the case and that will be followed with a video with my signal strength after the case has been installed. So I will go ahead and splice those videos in now. Alright, here is my iPhone 4S. We'll go ahead and unlock it. Now let me go ahead and zoom in here. You can see I have three bars and then I will touch on my maps and show you my GPS lock. And there we have a GPS lock on my location. And then we'll go ahead and come in here and we'll turn our Wi-Fi on and you'll see my Wi-Fi strength. There is my Wi-Fi strength at full bars. All right, we are back and we have the aluminum case installed. As you can see, there's my signal bar. I have two full bars. Now at my home, I fluctuate anywhere from one to three bars. Uh, the last video, I believe I was at three bars. It has fluctuated just a bit to two, but it is normal for it to fluctuate from one to three. So from my experience at my home, this is no signal loss. We'll go ahead and launch the Maps app and show a GPS lock. As you can see there, it's already locked in the same amount of time it takes with or without the case. We'll go ahead and launch our Wi-Fi and I'll show you my Wi-Fi strength. Now it in my room here, it fluctuates from two to three bars on my Wi-Fi. So there I have no really diminished signal loss on my Wi-Fi or speed. All right, this has been my review of the AL case aluminum bumper for the iPhone 4 and iPhone 4S. And there again, the way this is made on the side here, this will work for both versions of the iPhone 4, CDMA and GSM, and all versions of the iPhone 4S. This has been Roger with iGadgetGeek.